Hi everyone, we just wanted to update you on our fertility journey so far. So Luke and I got married a little bit later in life. Um, so we decided to start um, with our family straight away. Um, we tried for about a year and nothing happened. So we thought we'd better go and see a fertility clinic to see if something uh, might be wrong. Um, when we went to the fertility clinic, they started um, me off with a tablet called Clomid and this unfortunately didn't work. So they suggested that we move on to IVF. Um, they called off my first two rounds in the relatively early stages as because I have a quite a low egg count, um, my eggs just weren't growing. I wasn't producing, I think I only produced one on each round and they need about a minimum of five. So even though I was on the highest dose of injectable medication, my egg just wouldn't grow. Um, so yeah, it was then told to us that our next hope of having a baby would be to use a donor egg. Um, yeah, this was quite Heartbreaking at first, lots of tears, was a bit of a shock, you never expect something like that. Um, and then, yeah, we went home, spoke about it, um, prayed about it, um, yeah, just gave it some thought and we decided this would be a route we would like to take um, in order to have our little baby. A few weeks later, I went to go see my gynae just to try and balance my hormones a bit and she actually suggested that I get a second opinion. So off we went to see another fertility specialist and he actually ended up diagnosing me with something called hyperpituitarism. Um, it's apparently quite rare and it means that my pituitary gland is quite sluggish so it isn't producing enough hormones um, for ovulation and yeah amongst other things so this was quite a surprise to us but it was quite a good surprise as it meant that i don't actually have ovarian failure so this doctor said that if i inject with a certain medication but for a lot longer so 20 days or more he believes that he could get one of my eggs my own eggs to grow to size and then he would give me a trigger injection to release that egg so with this he said there's about a 15 percent chance that it could work but he is quite positive he just said that it might need a couple of rounds as my ovaries are very stubborn um, but this medication will override my pituitary gland um, and it apparently has a little bit of pregnancy hormone in it which can give it that extra boost so yeah this has really been such a roller coaster journey for us with lots of tears um, and ups and downs but this has given us some hope and faith that yeah we will be able to have our own biological baby and be able to hold that little one in our arms so yeah we're excited to update you on the good news hopefully soon uh i've been tasked with doing thank yous and shout outs and that sort of thing but we don't really want to do too many shout outs as such because we don't want to mention people by name. Some people don't want to be mentioned by name, but there are so many people who have been on this journey with us since day one, um, praying for us since before we went for fertility treatment or for second opinions or anything like that. And those people have really, 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 really helped us out a lot, uh, supporting us, mm -hmm. giving us words of encouragement and just leaning on our faith and uh, I'd like to thank all of them and they are phenomenal people. It's something that we can never ever repay and never express our true gratitude towards them. Um, however, we are very, very, very thankful to them and yeah, without a platform like uh, Backer Buddy, we would never have been able to do this. So 
a huge thank you to Becca Buddy as well. Yeah. Ciao. Ciao.